Inhibitory control at the level of attention is selective attention. So you're inhibiting distraction, you're focusing on what you want to focus on. Um, that's obvious, for example, if um, you're, you're trying to look at things and you, you don't want um, other things in the environment to interfere. Um, uh, an example I give sometimes is if you're talking on the phone and you're trying to screen out ambient noise around. For example, I often talk to my husband when he's on, on the phone and he gets quite annoyed. But you, know, you need selective attention to stay focused on what you want. Um, uh, at the level of behavior, it's self-control. It's not giving into temptation. It's not being impulsive, not reacting, but thoughtfully um, choosing how you want to respond. So it's um, not blurting out the first thing that comes to mind. It's um, maybe you're really upset and you write a really angry email message, but you don't press send. You exercise some self-control. There's, there's so many examples of it. That's the most predictive of long-term outcomes of all, of all executive functions. Kids who are more attentive, less impulsive, show more persistence and discipline, are the ones who do better in terms of earning better incomes, getting better jobs, um, uh, having better health, having um, less run-ins with the law, and reporting a higher quality of life. There are several studies that have shown this, but the most impressive is one that followed children for 32 years with a 96% retention rate, 1,000 kids. It was on the island of New Zealand, so maybe that made it a little easier. <laughs> um, uh, but the kids who had better inhibitory control as young children had better health, higher incomes, and better jobs, um, all of these things.